job na gusto mo din uh, na enjoy ko yung uh, public relations because uh, as a person medyo outgoing ako tsaka mapalakaibigan so ang advantage sa akin nito lumalaki yung network ko tsaka you get the chance to you know to express your ideas and to help the organization project the org- to help project the organization uh, katulad itong Coast Guard I've been here for siguro mga 10 years na Uh, ang importante kasi pa sa, 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 sa projection is branding. So medyo parang uh, pag nakita yung Coast Guard, parang ako na yung nakikita nila. And uh, yun yung public relations ng Coast Guard. Disadvantage? Wala akong makita ng disadvantage except na kung halimbawang kilala ka rin, nagiging public din yung buhay mo, subject to scrutiny ka. Pero okay lang naman yun. But the thing is, it's always an advantage for me and for the organization. Ang techniques ng public relation you're using to run the role. Uh, meron mga medium sa public relations, pero like yung social media, uh, yung, yung mga facilities ng media like TV, broadcast, radio, tapos yung mga uh, print like uh, tabloids and broadsheets so yun yung mga techniques na, gina, na, na ginagamit mo na minamaximize mo to achieve public relations but for me walang substitute dun sa performance ng organization pagdating sa public relations and make it known to the public like kalimbawa may meron kayo na rescue at saka may mga activities na para sa, papa, sa public So, yun yung uh, mga bagay na pwede mong gamitin para masabi mo na you're doing a good public relations. Of course, you will only know the, um, if you're really having a good public relations when you get feedback from uh, people okay, that you're serving, the government you're serving. So, what we do is... Uh, yung mga social media, pagka tinweet mo, malalaman mo naman kung binabash ka o mas maganda yung mga comments sila sa'yo. Like yesterday, we have a Coast Guard boat that came from Japan. And uh, maganda naman yung mga feedback niya. Well, uh, of course, yung buong service would be improved. Pagka maganda yung public relations. First, ang advantage kasi nito, pag maganda yung acceptance dun ng tao, dun sa organization, what you're doing, you intend to work hard some more. Okay? Namamotivate kang magtrabaho. So, nai-improve yung yung uh, servisyo sa publiko. Hindi ko lang po ano pang gusto nyong sabihin sa service improved by public relations. Um, Siguro sa Coast Guard mismo, uh, paano po nyo natulungan yung Coast Guard na mas improve yun na nga uh, alam mo ngayon pagka sinusubaybayan ka ng tao ng media uh, of course hindi dapat yun ang maging motivation dahil sinusubaybayan ka pero yun ang, 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 ang balik nito sa Coast Guard pagka mo nakikita yung ginagawa nyo kahit sa anong service agencies nag uh, you intend to work hard kasi na-appreciate ng mga tao and that's uh, ang nagpapacilitate nyo yung public relations yung campaign nyo when creating a peer plan to work with you yung mga crisis, how do you react to crisis? Yun ang mga kinoconsider mo para hindi yung strategic communication plan nyo for the year. Uh, dapat makakope up kayo sa crisis. So you have to put some consideration crisis management. Ibig sabihin, pagka may nangyari, ano naman ang crisis, it's something that you don't expect na wala dun sa plan nyo. So you have to prepare para hindi, kasi pag hindi ka nakapag-react o nakapag-respond sa crisis properly. The full strategic communication plan would be nothing. At ang maapekto ka ng organization. So in a world like that, that we are media-driven uh, sa mga decision. So dapat yung, yung communication plan ma-withstand niya yung crisis. Yun ba yung gusto niya? Ha? <laughs> Why did you go in this line of work? Inassign lang ako dito. Inassign. Oh, pero uh, over the years I learned the the 
traits of the public relations. So, nag-enjoy din naman ako. Kaya, ayaw nila akong tanggal. Hindi, sige lang. Okay lang din naman. So, sige. Ano pa? Dito sa Pilipinas, the story goes like this. If you have a story, you you broadcast it in the radio in the, radio, in the morning. Okay? In the afternoon, if it interests the TV stations, they will come here to follow up the story. And then by lunchtime, nagsisimula nang tumawag yung mga jaryo at saka mga tabloids, both print and ano. And by that time also, marami na nagsusulat ng mga vlogs pag may issue. So definitely, sa public relations officers, mga public relations officers, ang routine niyan, pinafollow namin lahat ng media outfit. Uh, from the radio to TV, blogs, saka yung mga prints. Uh, if you would be specific sa radio, apat yung pinafollow namin dyan na every morning na tinitingnan namin. Of course, yung ABS-CBN and DZMM, DZW ng GMA7, pagkatapos yung DZRH, uh, and then other radio station, yung Inquirer, tsaka yung radyo ng bayan. So, yun yung mga basic na pinapalo namin. And then, the afternoon, lahat ng TV stations. So, alam nyo naman, may primary TV stations na medyo malaki yung ABS tsaka GMA. And then, you have CNN Philippines for the news. Tapos, in other outfit like Channel 4. Uh, pati yung Net25 tsaka 13, minamonitor din namin as much as possible. Sa print, inquire at tsaka star. So, may mga in-house reporter na inquire at star dito. Pag may malaking story, likely yesterday, andito sila lahat. Uh, pagkatapos, pag wala naman, sa mga ibang beats nila, pero tumatawag din sila dito. Confirmation. Then, TV. Tapos yung mga vlogs, alam nyo na yan, social media. Okay? Ngayon yung sasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Of course, you have to have a strategic communication plan that would deal on crisis. Okay? Pagka crisis, dyan dapat talabas yung training nyo sa public relations office. Okay? Ibig sabihin, pag may crisis, may eliminate yung mga factors that would worsen the crisis. Like, dapat isa lang yung talking person. Dapat you know how to handle the media. Uh, what information that you want to give. Dapat uh, nakapag-invest ka na, ibig sabihin yung media relationship mo maganda. At pag nagsalita ka, dapat meron ka ng credibility. That if you say that, hindi sila magdududa na yun talaga yung totoo. So basically, ganun lang. Tapos execute nyo yung PR plan nyo. Tapos uh, you should always get in touch with the boss at seek guidance. And then, yung crisis naman, nagmemelo yan. Sa news naman kasi, alam nyo na yan, napag kami pumutok na news na panibago, tapos na yung crisis nyo. But uh, during the crisis, you have to manage it well. It's, it's so hard. May hirap yung... Uh, kasi ang goal ng PR is to project your organization. Sometimes, my experience, alam ni Tito Ronim yan, you go beyond objectivity just to project the organization. That's an honest opinion. And uh, later on in your PR career, you will know that. Kaya nga PR, public relations, eh. you try to lift the the company, you try to project. Pero sa amin, as much as possible, we try to be true. Halimbawa, kung meron namang nalaman na may mga pagkakamali, yung Coast Guard o yung organization, we do not hide it, but we face it head-on and explain. And sub to part to the public to, you know, paano magre-react. Ngayon, kung kasalanan namin, hindi namin tatago. But ako, I will admit, kung may nagsisinungaling sa organization, kung may ginawang balik. And uh, the thing is, ang loyalty, hindi doon sa mga tao, but loyalty to the organization and to the Filipino people. Okay?
I am Commander Armand Balilo, the head of the Public Affairs of the Philippine Coast Guard and also the designated spokesman of the command.